let's just quickly take up the questions that we've got from the audience. I'll start by one by one. Please free, uh, feel free to answer. Um, the first one that we have is, how is the current residential market been in the pandemic? Any new projects coming up? When will the market get back to normal? I believe it has already been booming and it is back to normal. Right. Sure. Okay. The next one is, how do you sustain your team with little income due to the pandemic? Are they asked to let go without pay and then uh, get them back, uh, you know, when the projects start picking up? Do we have a practice like that or we do, do we believe in sustaining the team? We do believe in sustaining the team. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Same. I believe uh, I believe it's a process of nurturing. I believe uh, it's not just the team that works for us in our offices. I think this time has been uh, much about helping each other out. Right. So whether, uh, I mean, but it's a very real question as well. Um, so it's about uh, balancing it out for the future. And I think it's only in discussion with the team that you can do that. So I think last year was different because the government brought in a few review rules. Now we are under a lockdown where nobody really knows, uh, you know, which way and for how long, what is going to happen. So I think planning under uncertainty is something that we have uh, given up last year itself. So we take mm -hmm. each day at its, as it comes, but definitely nurture the team you have, or at least uh, at least be sure to treat them with the same amount of respect that you would expect because uh, that will go a longer way and for them to understand uh, each one's score, uh, please. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, the next one that we have is I've just started my architectural firm. Any instructions or any style adaptation which uh, can help sustain? It's, it should be the self-study. And self-experience yeah and i also feel it, it it needs to come out of a sense of belief and so whatever your beliefs are that will stand true and if those you know you i mean just you need to you need to yeah you need to just be yourself like they often say and it's often said right okay but this one was quite an interesting follow question heart. follow your heart be honest right be honest I think the most, some of the most talented practices in the country are the ones that are less known or little known. I mean, sometimes you follow, I follow work uh, and look up to people who aren't really so-called in the limelight. Uh, and I think uh, it's just amazing how much uh, sense of belief of us uh, has, you know, plays a role in those practices. Right. Thank you. Sure. Okay. So next one is quite an interesting question. I don't think any one of you would have an answer to it, but I still ask, which is, what is the tips? What are the tips for convincing the client? Do you have anything to say on that? Convince yourself. <laughs> then the job is done. I have, I, I mean, I feel, um, I think, I feel today the uh, clients come with a sense of entitlement and a certain amount of, uh, let's say, uh, they come with a certain amount of exposure given the internet, the, you know, the extra travel people do these days and so on, or were doing, let me say. So I think the tip to convince the client is to always feel that the sense of uh, ownership of the decision is with them. Actually, it's with you, but you should let them feel that they are actually making the decisions and lead them to it rather than telling them what to do. So it always works quite well. So, right. Uh, okay, so we'll actually have one more question, uh, which I have, which is basically about the voice that we are trying to create, like with platforms like this, where we kind of come and talk about and share our ideas and share our knowledge. So I want to kind of ask you, like in this age of social media and PR, do you think that knowledge share and networking has accelerated the design week as well? You know, how much people know about design and what they really felt about design uh, it has really uplifted. I mean, to, sorry, I'm just, I, I can't resist. I'm just going to, I mean, I think we, we most importantly need to have this news channel, which only has true, honest and positive yeah. news. So yeah. I mean, every 
everywhere every you know this 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 false reporting the sense of uh, false communication it's just confusing the hell out of everybody i think right. uh, it's so important that in the small discussions that we have uh, with our own family our children our parents our friends is to you know stay positive look for the more positive news in the market rather than you know plain paint this uh, dreary picture of doom uh because uh, i mean uh, i mean the human race is resilient they only know i mean they we will find a way they will always be there so there might be a lot of uh, uh damage in finding that way but we will so yep i think uh, forums like these need to remain positive when we look at the bright side of things right and look right. at the other side as just challenges so so um do you have anything to add uh, you know the pencil and hathi ma'am on this that do we need this kind of a platform where we kind of engage in is social media and pr somewhat adding to you know uh, how much we could grasp earlier when it came to design knowledge i think uh, i think it has sorry yeah. yes sir sorry sorry can <laughs> and nothing much to say but frankly you know in last uh, lockdown when it has started because we all were free so it was a good engagement you know earlier but then you know in earlier days the attendees were 1000 2000 sometime 400 500 gradually it's so many channels so many programs so many such kind of discussion keep happening that people might have lost the charm of the same so sometime it might happen that it it was needed a break and uh, but of course that is not the my answer my answer is that definitely uh, it affects but uh, it all depends on the audience and the way people are taking it and uh, of course uh, as you know certain time the questions are fabricated and the answers also are fabricated and in that case Uh, we may may not get the right kind of conclusion or solution right so i think it's a both the kind of coin so good or bad but whatever you know one person is if it is getting something out of it is fine right so basically uh, there is still a gap for credible information which we need to judge for ourselves i think um sure uh, what do you have to say badri ma'am you take that from uh, what you were saying earlier see uh, we are here, here on a social media platform right now because of social media isn't it that we come right. to each other's work but we need to use it wisely and that is where we need to realize that how much to see what to see and often when uh, people see on instagram or anywhere else they see things which are far and wide they forget to look things in their neighborhood which are really good which are available so social media often is a training it's training us to uh, compare our lives to other instead of appreciating what we have so if we use it wisely can't go wrong sure all right so um, we just have two more questions that have just come in we'll quickly take them and wrap up uh, the question is when we start to relate inside and outside spaces when it comes to individual villas how do we see security i think uh, so if i take that i mean that's a relative uh, question in the sense that um, i think a neighborhood analysis is key to start with uh, beyond that uh, there are many ways to secure premises even if uh, you have this indoor to out inside to outside sort of dialogue so from um, you know a slew of security related uh, let's say uh, technology so that's not really a problem uh, uh, per se and it also um, is something that uh, that's 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 an easy work around with the technology that we have these days uh, when it comes to security so no. yeah so it's 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 it's, it's a fair fix um, keeping to this uh, tenets of inside and outside sure okay uh, the last question that we have is the use of tank underground water system which was there earlier in old houses 
how has it replaced into new designs or if it still be practiced as with a better approach uh, sir your mic is on mute yeah in yeah. some design uh, we do adopt such uh, system with the understanding of client and uh, in, in definitely in that case in future client has to take a little more effort in terms of where to, when to collect the water and everything but when the client uh, is aware with the system uh, it's a real good system there is no doubt about it that is water harvesting and water recharging is so every where it is now compulsory there is no doubt about it but water harvesting is based on the client's understanding we as a designer we guide but then they have to take little effort later on you know in the years to come so that is where the uh, their willingness also matters a lot clients willingness also matters a lot sure sure thank you i think it's time that we wrap up uh, you know all i can say uh, you know as i conclude that we really need to adapt to the new reality but you know as far as we've discussed i think we still need to be rooted to the ground level of what uh, you know what we really hold value of and accommodate various activities of our lives accordingly uh, keeping lifestyle as a core focus when it comes to residential design Uh, thank you everybody for having a chat with me i think i'll take it uh, you know pass it over to gauri now thank you so much i would like to thank everyone for joining this session it was a very engaging panel discussion and uh, thank you once again and i think we would see everyone in another in a little in a little while for the next part which is the workshop thank you Thank you.